the Center for Africa Liberation and Socio-Economic Rights, CASA, has rubbish reports of extrajudicial killing of six Igbo personnel in the Nigerian army, level against immediate passive of army staff. Lieutenant General Toku Bratai, the center said, the allegation of ethnic cleansing in the army was not only false but an agenda by the Eastern Nigerian right and intelligentsia coalition to cast aspersion on the personality of Buratai while sparking on ethnic and religious conflict in the country. Kausa made this revelation in a detailed investigative report signed by its president, Prince Ajibola, and released on Friday. The center noted that from its finding, there is no any record in Niger Hami that indicates such incidents. The report also established that the process of promotion and dismissal in the Hami is not the prerogative of the chief of army staff. The Nigerian army was involved in the extrajudicial killing of six Nigerian army soldiers based on their ethnicity and religion. It was also alleged that the Nigerian army conducted a secret trial of the soldiers and hurriedly executed them and conducted secret burial for them in an undisclosed location in Abuja. It alleged that the immediate past chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tukuburotai, ordered for their execution a day before he retired from service this claim is brain twisting. These allegations were made by a group named Eastern Nigeria's Rights and Intelligentsia Coalition. It also stated that other senior serving military and police officers who are working tirelessly to secure Nigeria and Nigerians were privy to the atrocity including serving governors, Willy Obiano and His Excellency Okeze Ikweazu of Anambra and Abia states, respectively. Our findings reveal that the allegations of the killings were inaccurate, as there was no record in the Nigerian army that indicated such incident. It was observed that the emphasis on ethnicity and religion from our findings was orchestrated to cause disquiet in the polity. It was also observed that Eastern Nigeria's rights and intelligentsia coalition does not have any known address in Nigeria or anywhere else in the world for that matter. The group has not been involved in any activity that has come to the public regarding promoting human rights whether of the Igbos or any other ethnicity in Nigeria. From further scrutiny, the only activity ascribed to the group is a press statement that was issued and was not reported by credible news mediums in Nigeria for lacking evidence to substantiate the allegations. Kasa, however, urged the Nigerian army to begin the gathering process toward and identifying individuals and group that are how to undermine its integrity as an institution. It also recommended that the Hami authorities seek legal redress against the Eastern Nigerian Right and Intelligentsia Coalition to serve as a deterrent to other individuals and groups attempting such missions.